I would like to start by what we've seen in Ottawa recently. I would like to condemn the disgusting acts that certain people committed in Ottawa, whether it be a Confederate flag or a Nazi flag. These are racist flags that do not have their place in Canada. We have to denounce these symbols, and I would like to congratulate those who did so. We also noted extreme right groups in these demonstrations. I have received threats from such groups, and I have no sympathy for them. I will always fight against what they stand for. With regards to the Ottawa occupation, it's time for demonstrators to leave and stop paralyzing the city out of respect for the local population who have already had to deal with so many consequences. I would invite the demonstrators to move and they could perhaps have a shuttle to Parliament every day. That would be their right. But it's also the right of the people who live in Ottawa to live peacefully and without fear. I've heard hundreds of people in Quebec and Canada who reached out to me in the, in the past weeks, people who have nothing to do with the demonstrations. These people are mostly vaccinated and have done everything that needed to be done in the past two years. But now they have legitimate concerns. I think that we need to hear these concerns and respond to them. I heard parents that were concerned about their children who were depressed, who have lost their energy. I've heard pediatricians who've called me crying, talking about the isolation of their patients, how disconnected they feel. And they also agree with what a doctor from Lévis said. And uh, I quote, we need to look at the reality and the data and stop treating the population from zero to 90 years old in the same way. The government should quickly offer a roadmap that is quantified and quantifiable for restrictions being lifted. I don't believe that all restrictions should be lifted right away, but we need quantifiable parameters to see when these measures will be lifted. For example, what is the threshold for hospitalizations? Also, I think that people have increasing difficulty with the measures because they don't understand them anymore. They don't understand them because the government isn't explaining them. It's easier to implement things when we understand them, especially when restrictions have a significant impact on people's lives.